हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इंपॉर्टेंट जजमेंट ऑफ ऑनरेबल कर्नाटक हाई कोर्ट द जजमेंट इन विच द कंसर्न स्टेट गॉट एन एप्लीकेशन टू बी अलाउड इन देयर फेवर बट द रेमेडी इज स्टिल फ्रूटलेस बिकॉज द एंटायर फ्रूट और रेमेडी इज इंक्लाइंड बाय द कंसर्न कोर्ट इन फेवर ऑफ अक्यूज आई एम टोटली इंप्रेस्ड बाय द रूल ऑफ जूरिस प्रोडेंस विच सेज दैट इफ यू कैन नॉट कट द ट्री जस्ट बैंड द ब्रांचेस and the consent required person will get the fruit and the present case which i'm going to discuss is a glaring example of that jurisprudence friends do you know the accused is having the right of fair investigation do you know na i also know do you know the consent accused can move to the consent court with a prayer that fair investigation is to be given to him i also know but how to get because telling something in theoretical way is a very easy thing but in the practical way we have to understand the case also in that case the accused is having the chulpana my case is wrong i had been involved case is fabricated but who is there to listen the indian courts who are supposed to be the guardian of rule of law if i will narrate the entire case in the theoretical way you would not be able to understand the same if you want to understand just follow the path which i'm going to given to you okay na so just have a copy just have a pen and narrate or avert whatever i'm going to specify you in that case there was a person who in trilia tried his best to serve the government as a public servant and in the meanwhile he got trapped because the allegation of the concerned complainant is that being a public servant he demanded the bribe accepted the bribe and caught red handed and that's why is culprit in that case and even in any case within territory of india wherein there is a allegation of public servant that he demanded bribe he accepted bribe bribe is recovered the concerned officials of the anti corruption bureau or vigilance or lokayukt interalia lost the fir and finally charged the accused if the entire evidence is available on the record constituting a prima facie case okay na so the present case is concerned with section 7 sub clause a a means small a, not capital a because there is a difference between small a and capital a you know na in a similar manner section 7 sub clause a means small a says when a public servant obtain accept or agree to obtain an undue advantage for discharging his official duty in illegal way in that scenario he would be liable rest there is no need to worry you may read judgment of neeraj datta versus state of ncd wherein even honorable supreme court specified what is specified mere demand is no demand demand should be specific so demand is not there the case could not be booked under prevention of corruption act you got the point now but in that case on the point of fair investigation the accused interalia submitted to the concerned trial court that i am the victim of injustice because the concerned complainant was hand in glove with the concerned officials of the local you my case is fabricated and to rule out the same it is necessary to call the call detail and call record from the concerned institution means the telecom operator and i am totally unable to get the same being a third party and apart from that there are certain restrictions from it act on ground of right to privacy and apart from that guidelines of dot 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 means a department of telecommunication okay na so he filed the application as per section 91 of crpc what that section says section says the court is empowered to call certain document which are material and relevant for the purpose of adjudication got the point na easier now so he requested the court that if call detail or call record or document concerned with same is not called upon then i would not be able to prove that i am innocent and i would be the victim of the false case and court cannot do injustice while considering the entire play of the concerned accused the application was allowed by the concerned court but the state was totally dissatisfied no no this is a wrong order and we will challenge they entirely moved before the honorable high court but they moved under section that is pertinent for question but the primary question arises why they had moved for question why they had not filed the revision friends in the year of 2009 the honorable supreme court specified that if the order is passed by the concerned trial court as per section 91 of crpc no revision lies if revision not lies then where to go no need to go to hell go 
as per section 482 of CRPC because we are governed by rule of law and rule of law says that ubi just ibi remedium. It is a Latin maxim which says that when there is a right, there is a remedy. There is a right, there is a remedy. So right is to challenge and remedy lies in question. The state challenged the order on the following five points. They submitted that the accused had been prosecuted, charged and finally charged it. So when charge it is filed, we know the investigation is over. When investigation is over, nothing is pending. So there is no need to do another investigation or a parallel investigation. And even the court cannot be a party in the investigation. And court cannot direct in which manner the investigation is to be done. So the order is totally fruitless. Order is against the law. It is liable to be set aside. It is submitted that the scope is totally limited and such power cannot be exercised in the routine manner. It is submitted that the document invoked are totally irrelevant and the concerned lokayut cannot be directed to summon this document and to produce the same before the concerned court and it would be basically the violation of right to privacy and inter alia it will deter the concerned officials of the ACB and lokayut and they would not be able to discharge their function in the rightful manner without any fear or annoyance. Oh, a great argument. Means the agency which is going to trap the accused is getting affected or getting under fear and annoyance that their privacy would be affected and they would be under fear while doing the further investigation. Great, great argument. And apart from that, it is submitted that the call details could not be preserved, cannot be retained by the concerned agency. So the order is totally fruitless, liable to be set aside. And apart from that, the application is filed before framing of charge. And such order can be passed after framing of charge. And the basic attack of the concerned defense is in the light of judgment of Honorable Supreme Court, Nitya versus Gopal. Judgment has been pronounced in the year of 2018 by Honorable Supreme Court. In that case, it has been specified that it is settled that at the stage of framing of charge, the accused cannot ordinarily invoke section 19 of CRPC. But the court specified that the court being under obligation to impart justice and to abort the law is not debarred from exercising the power. If court is not debarred from exercising the power, it means the court can exercise the power. But usually the power is to be exercised after framing of charge. It has been specified. Same view has been retrieved in judgment of Devendra Nath case titled is State of Odisha versus Devendra Nath. Judgment is pronounced in the year of 2005 by Honorable Supreme Court. So everyone must remember that whenever we are going to move, we have to do the proper research work. In case of Hardeep Singh versus State of Punjab, the same view is to be retrieved and court specified that the court role is very important while doing justice. A duty is cast upon it to uphold the rule of law and therefore it will be inappropriate to deny the existence of power. But the power is to be exercised when given under the law means at the appropriate stage. So we could conclude that what we could conclude it is clear that while ordinarily the court has to proceed on the basis of material produced with the charge sheet. But when court is satisfied that the material evidence had been compromised, it is to be called upon. But it doesn't mean that the defense has a right to invoke the power of section 91 CRPC at the stage of framing of charge or before that. But as I told you earlier, if you cannot cut the tree, you can bend the bunches to give fruits to innocent accused. But the court has done the same and the same is clarified by para number 9 of the present case. At para number 9 of judgment, court specified that in the light once the charge are framed and trial commence, the right of accused to file an application under section 91 of CRPC regarding the production of document would exist. In the present case, the charge yet to be formed, the trial yet to be commenced. In that light, reserving liberty to the respondent to file the application would not be fruitless. It would work. So I am going to recall you, if you cannot cut, you can bend. You cannot cut, you can bend. Okay. Na? So the court specified that. The issue would be whether the call record detail as was directed by the concerned court is to be preserved or not. The order is passed within two years and the call details would have its life for two years in law. So therefore, the lokayut is duty bound to preserve the call record and liberty is to given to the concerned accused to file the application under section 19 of CRPC after framing of charge so that the application could be decided by the court as per law. 
So the present judgment inter alia give five hidden messages. Number one, the call detail could be preserved for two years from cause of action. Number two, it is not necessary that we are totally barred for moving the application under section 91 of CRPC to get the call details. Even though it is moved, the court is required to consider the same in term of protection. But it doesn't bar the court to preserve the call detail. So we can move but with prayer to preserve the call detail. Got the point now it is easier. Then why you are getting worried? Can I be happy? Number three, while moving the application, you are required to specify the need, the relevancy. If you are not able to specify, you cannot get justice. Number four, the judgment that is pronounced by the Karnataka High Court is a recent judgment on that point and you may rely upon the same. That is State of Karnataka versus Avinash M. And a very great thing in the last, Mr. Avinash had appeared in person. He has not appeared through counsel. And when we appear in our own case, with our own discretion and fit we would be able to get the justice in more effective way. No one in this world could help you. You could help yourself. Even Gita says, Gita, not my friend. Gita, Lord Krishna narrated. Bhagavad Gita. Tum karo, fal ki mat karo. So we have to do the work. Without doing work, we cannot be succeeded. So having an advocate is a good thing. Like Arjuna, because he retained Krishna with him. But fighting without a strategy is a very bad thing so make a strategy and fight and definitely we will win so see you in the next video till then jai hind jai bharat